Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today is a slightly different video. We're actually looking at the different the different types of Hermes postage you can actually do and using different methods. So I'm gonna be looking at the Hermes postage through YouTube. On YouTube. I'm gonna be looking at the Hermes postage through eBay. I'm also looking at the Hermes postage through its website and also the app on the phone as well. And fourth, I'm gonna be looking at postage through the click and cl uh, the click and print functions you can do inside the shops as well. So I've got a bunch of parcels, different weights, different sizes, um, which actually I sold over the last 24 hours. Um, so I'm going to go through now and just tell you what I've got and the, and the rough what and the rough weights, and then we're going to use those four different methods to show you all the different types of postage and the and the ways you can post things you can with Hermes to suit you to find out which best works for you because some of us out there don't have access to zebra label printers you might not have access to a laser printer or disc jet you might not have no printer at all so um there's a way at Hermes to thought about that and allow you to print your labels off at the shop so you can produce them yourself on a computer or on your phone and then just print them off over there so that is what we're going to look at today we're going to try all those different methods and then we're going to go over to the shop and actually finish off the rest of the the postage so let's turn the camera around now Okay, so I've got some parcels here. See, this is a generally just a computer game, and this weighs 140 grams, and this is going to go as a large letter, so we're going to do that one. Um, inside this inside this parcel here is a, um, a DS, and it weighs 975 grams. So this is just under the one kilogram parcel, so um, Hermes has its own function for one kilograms. Again, we've got another one under one kilograms. This one's weighing, I don't know, um, 135 grams. But again, it's going to be a large, it's going to be a small parcel. And now this one, this is a box of books weighing 3.7 kilograms, but it's also worth 90 pounds. So it's a small parcel, over 3.7 kilograms, but worth 90 pounds inside here. So we're going to be looking at the the Hermes insurance options and and and. And guarantee sort of options on that one. Again, we've got another box of books, and this is again it's um, 1.7 kilograms, but it's only worth about eight pounds. So again, it's something something different. And last, we've got down here is we've got a whole load of broken Xboxes weighing 13.2 kilograms. It's a large box, large box, and um, and we're going to see how we can send that one. Okay, so I've just come into my eBay shop now, and as you see, I've got a few sales. I've got six parcels to sell today, in value of a couple hundred quid. So not a bad day really. But that's not all about the sales. We're going to be looking at selling one of our, our posting one of our items. So the one we're going to look at. Because I've got two parcels worth, which are between one and two kilograms, and, um, and this one's worth not much. We can see they're fifteen pound for the books. So all I'm going to do, I'm going to be printing a postage label off just from eBay using the Hermes sort of postage ways. You can just see how that really works sort of on here. So all I'm going to simply do is click on the post, create postage label, load that in, and then I'm going to go to the shuttle. So 0 0.2 kilograms on there. We're going to use Hermes, which has a £25 um, in compensation. So we know the books are worth £2, uh, are worth £15. It's, the diameter is 45 by 35 by 16. So that is a normal standard small parcel for Hermes or Royal Mail. So that is the, pro that is the thing on there. And does it want tracking? Yes, it's going to have tracking to take two to three days, and this is going to cost me two pounds seventy-nine. So I'm, to, I'm happy with that. Yeah, you can see the other things there. I can send it to drop off Royal Mail, or I can use different things. But today we're looking at all the Hermes functions. So two pounds seventy-nine. I'm happy with that, and I click confirm. I'm just covering up, just covering up, sort of on here. So we've got the label. I've blurred this for a reason, so I'm not going to give anyone's address. I'm going to. I've got a zebra printer. Yeah, so I can enlarge it, and then I can. Diff oh, oh. I can customize it and take it down to 90 degrees. So now it fits on my label. 
sort of on here and then all I've got to do then is just press print and it will come out of my Zebra Label 6x4 printer and that is how easy it can be of using the system on there the only thing, the only thing you got to make sure you do is actually plug in your label printer it might actually help and then I'm gonna get myself build yeah so here it is so the label's just been printed off and then it's through the Hermes you can see there it's through Hermes but also through eBay and then I'll just attach that to the parcel and that is that one sorted. So that is one system you could use for the Hermes. And that's good if you've got a printer. But this is all about if you don't have a printer. Or one of these, you can print this on an old A4 and cut it out. But if you don't have a printer, there is another way around it. Okay, so the next service we're going to look at for Hermes is actually the Hermes website. And actually doing a parcel through the website. So it's nice and nice and simple. All we've simply got is I just log in with my details. We haven't really got an account. It's very, very easy to set up an account. You just click register and, um, and set it up. Um, I'll just do the feedback later on. But you can see here I've got three current active post parcels and I've got 283 parcels delivered. Yeah, so that's not bad really. Inside the last 30 days, yeah, you can see my activity in Hermes. So I am actively using them sort of all the time. These are quite nice where you can go into the system and you can look at any ones delivered and you can track to see where it's delivered to, when it was delivered, you can look at the signing information and all that sort of that sort of stuff. So that makes it very, very simple. You can also track any active parcels, allow you to keep track of those. But what I did also like about this website is ability to import your, your um, postage directly from different selling platforms so like eBay Amazon so if you're a merchant fulfilled out if you're a merchant fulfilled seller you can import straight from there CSV or Lineworks and I think they're um, adding more things to it already so, so all I simply have to do on here is click click quick send and I'll put some details inside the two the, the price with the weight so we're going to do less than one kilo and then um, we'll see how much that sort of pings out to let's just send it to myself just to give you some idea um, how much it's going to cost me so I'll get a quote yeah two pound eighty five yeah so if I was going to send that teddy bear um, it was only going to cost me two pound eighty five to actually sending the parcel and it's under twenty pounds so that would be fully covered sort of on there itself so nice and nice and simple and all i've got to do then is just when i've finished it just press the print button so i will fill one of these out now and then i'll just go back to that i'll fill one of these out properly and i'll just see how that works okay so we're just doing the old teddy now so i'm gonna just put the details in so i know it i know it's plush oops can't small plush and it is worth do you know what? i can't remember how much it was worth on top of my head I think it's eight quid, I think. Yeah, plush worth eight quid. So we'll just put that inside there. So that was eight pound. Give you the reference. You don't have to put the reference in there if you don't want to. Yeah, it appears on the label. And then all I do then is just press continue. Free cover. Yes, it's going to have free cover. For this, because it's not worth that much money at all, I'm not really bothered about paying the ATP for a signature required. But when you have a signature required, you're actually going to guarantee yourself the driver has to physically hand it over to someone, where if you don't have it required, they can opt to leave it inside a safe space. But their safe place could be compromised and because stuff could get nicked. So um, if you're going to be doing quite high value items, I do recommend them doing the signature required. So therefore you're actually 100% sure the person who you're sending the parcel to is physically receiving it. Or the next door neighbour is physically receiving it. And you can then... You've got, you can then actually see the signature. Also, it's a bit of insurance for yourself. Because sometimes in the past, I've sent parcels over... Um, high value items and the buyer said oh it's gone missing someone hasn't delivered it i've gone into my into my tracking details with hermes and they've got an electronic signature on the file and you can go well, hang on a minute someone that i can see this person signed for it 
and then you can send a, a screenshot of that signature oh, back to them and say well here's the signature and therefore it usually gets close or you've got proof you can send over to eBay and to say you've actually got proof of delivery at their address so yes it is does cost you a little bit extra but it's a really good tool to use if you are unsure where you're sending it or you've had issues before and you're just paying a little ATP but for now because it's only worth eight pound I'd rather just just leave that sort of on there and then all I do now is just as it says there put the name the email address I usually put the email addresses in there because then they, they also get an email to say that get follow that they're tracking the telephone number if you've got their telephone number put it in there if not I use my telephone number so if the driver can't put it on there they can give me a call and I can then sort it out and give them a message back and then they've got the postcode and delivery addresses and it's sort of safe place as well so I usually just collect um, safe space. I used to I used to say um put it to the I used to say other and I used to say neighbour. Yeah, I usually just write neighbour in there. Yeah, it's sort of nice and nice and simple. If you if you get any information from your buyer to say they want to go to certain places, you can actually put that in there as well. You know, sometimes you get these houses in the middle of nowhere and then they got no no numbers they got names or you can give information so just to help anything to help the driver um, sort themselves out over there so I'm gonna fill this details in now and um, and then we'll come back to you once we've done that okay so I filled all the details in if I downloaded those details onto the system if I click the Hermes sort of um postal system uh, on eBay it would have automatically put all her details of the of the part of the buyer's details into that system all I had to do is just confirm it and then click and then once you run go to next you then get the option you either can parcel parcel drop off at the shops you can either go to your own shop or you can pay the 60p to have someone collect it from your house yeah so I'm gonna click that okay so once I clicked that on here I can I, I clicked on to drop it off and then it goes to your nearest nearest shop I'm gonna move this up a little bit just because um, I do have their personal details on here. You can see there that I'm going to be going to the cost cutter a little bit further away from my house, just because they do have the print your own machine. Or uh, and then and then you can have a choice of add it to basket if you did more or pay now. So for this one, I'm visiting going to just pay now. Yeah, so I paid now. It's nice and simple. Got all the details on here. It's going to go on there, and then I agree with the, agree with the terms. You can you can either pay. With with cards, or you can pay with PayPal. So I'm just going to do all my stuff through PayPal. So I'm going to click the PayPal button, and then I'm going to pay it via that. But that's it. Yeah. So once I've done that, the postage is all done, and all I've got to, all I've got to, to do now is download my details, so my rope, my postal records for my um, invoices and taxes, and then print out all labels. So I'm going to just do them now. So I've downloaded that and now I'm going to print out all labels. So I'm now on my 6.4 sort of system. If I just upload this to 100, because I'm only doing one, it'll fit on the page anyway. So I can just press print and it'll just do that one little bit for me. Yeah. And it's now printed out now. So you see package under a kilo. Hermes and the, and the label so exactly the same as the other thing it's just this time this is printed directly from the Hermes website so that's nice and simple on there so let's do the next one by looking at the app okay so I'm now on my phone now I see you got a bit of a screen capture and I'm resending my next parcel so this one is the DS which is under a kilogram so we're gonna see how this is gonna work out for you now so the selling price for this one was 28 pound i do believe um so it's going to be over the limit yeah 28 pound is going to be over the 20 pound threshold so let's see how the app is going to fare with this one okay so i'm in the app now so what i need to do is just, i need to send a parcel so i go scroll all the way down to the bottom of the app and then <coughs> i've got little things over here called send my parcel track your parcel and do the returns so all i want to do is send the parcel so I'm going to click on to send, and that takes me onto basically my website. Continue to the new site. Uh, welcome to the new Hermes site. Currently working to add with new ad features. 
Yeah, so continue. So nice and simple. So I'm on here. So all I'm going to do now is just type in the postcode of where you want to send from and to. So I'm going to put the postcode in for the business. Postcode to. So I'm okay, so I've now put in the postcode where it's coming from and where it's going to. Now I need to select the method. Yeah, so this is under a kilo, this one. So it's got the option. It says print in shop or print at home. Yeah, so that is what I'm going to print. I'm going to use this. I'm going to be printing inside the shop for this one. And I'm going to do another another one more part, another one or two more parcels as well. Um, so I can print them out inside the shop. So the first thing I need to do, though, is I need to select what we're going to do. So I'm going to select. It's a print of um, postable under one kilogram or under one kilogram. So if it's postable, that means it's a letterbox. It's going to fit underneath that. Uh, this is going to be under one kilo. You can see there's a big difference between one and two kilos. It's four pound five p. Between two to ten kilos, six pound forty nine, and ten to fifteen kilos, eight pound ninety eight. So all my parcels are going to fit inside those fields on here. But this is under a kilo. So I'm going to select select that one. Yeah, and then the parcel contents. So this is just a Nintendo DS. How much is it worth? £28. Option three, I'm going to be putting the full cover, which is going to cost me 24p. Because it is electronics, I like to add signature because I'm, I need to ensure it gets there. And then all I need to do then is just... It says find a parcel shop. If you're not sure where you're going to be going, where one of those printable systems are, um, this is where I would be doing that. So if I'm not sure, I can click the parcel shop sign. Yeah, and it still says print label at parcel shop. Yeah, so I want just the one at the parcel shop. And then I'll search that. And we can see here, I've got a couple of ones. I've got Norris Shopper and Stilly Square. Yeah, which is open there. I've also got the cost cutter, which I know about. We I've already talked to the lady. She's got me for the film in there. Um, so I've got that one on there. And then from 1.2 miles away, I've got another one. There's actually quite a few now. So going through, looking what I've got, the options are for the print, my own. I've got 11 different shops to choose from, from the 4.5 mile range. When I first did this, there was only two. So um, really, really good. Yeah, it's really, really handy. But So that's the one I'm going to be going to. Nice and simple. And then I can click on that. It tells me where I am on the map and how to get there. So that is really, really nice sort of system. Nice sort of service. We can get on there. So I'm just getting myself back to where I was. And so all I've got to do now is just finish off my order. So I'm happy with that. Just press continue. And that brings me into the information thing. So I've got all my information on my, on my invoices. So I'm going to type this stuff in now and I'll get back to you once I've actually gone through. It's the same as on the PC. I've just got to put all the details into the customer. And the postcode, select their address, any delivery instructions. And when I've done that, just press continue. So I'll be doing that now. Okay, so their details are in now. So next thing, I've just got to put my details in. So you all know who I am. So... Okay, so once I've put all my details in, you can see the full total is three pound eighty nine for sending for sending that DS with the with the upgraded insurance and the signature. So still not that much money at all. And all I've got to do click then is just review details. Yeah, so I can see there I've got the parcel under a kilogram, full cover, ATP signature, and and all their details there, which will be blocked out so you can't see them. Final checks, yeah, it doesn't contain any previous items, no it doesn't, yeah, it doesn't go over the maximum size, no it doesn't, happy with all that, and then all I've got to simply do to that is to pay now, and then you've just got to sign in or create an account. Okay, so I've just signed in to the actual system, and to actually pay my bill, so that's nice and simple, and all I've got to do, simply do now is just confirm and pay. And then you get a 
credit card details and this is asking you to pay the credit card detail it doesn't look like at the moment you can do PayPal via this so so, so currently you can only do a via the credit card so I'm gonna to have to put my details in there and I'll come back to you once that's all done okay so that's now orders now confirmed so all I'm gonna do there is just print your labels all you need to do now is print your label from the drop off parcel any parcel shop yeah, number printer so print print your labels in the parcel shop with the print and store service by using this code yeah so i've got a code um, which i've just got to go in there so when i say print your labels put the code in and that should bring me the system yeah which is makes it nice and easy and that's it yeah that is really really easy so i'm going to do that for another two more parcels um sitting in, in the comfort of my own house and then we're going to go over to the parcel shop and I'm going to print these off by using the phone. And the last one I'm actually going to do using the, using the terminal there just to show you all the different methods you can do for selling with Hermes. So I'll catch you next time at the parcel shop. So see you in a sec. Well, I've just come back to my computer because I was trying to do one and I found that I was having issues with the, the app, which wasn't allowing me to put the GPS... The global shipping programs um, postcode in it just said it wasn't it wasn't wasn't recognised. So I just thought I'd just go to the computer and just print the labels off through through the computer. But when I actually did so, I found something else out which I didn't realise I could do at the same time as well. I said at the start of the video that you needed to print it off on your own computer. No, you don't. If you go for the actual website itself, um, I've gone two to five kilos. I'm going to drop off. I'm going to click shuttle Hermes. When you go down here, you've got the free standard proof of enhance and that sort of stuff. This is going to GSP, so I'm not too fussed about. Yes, it is worth £90, but generally when it goes to GSP, I've never had any issues at all. Um, it's good. But it's got here, it says additional service, print in store for free. So I'm going to click this little box here. Oh, click that little box on here, it says click in store for free. Then it says find your closest low store location here. So I'm going to click that. And again, it's got the ones which I'm going to go to. So number two is where I'm actually going to go because I can print inside the store there. And yeah, so that tells me where the nearest store is. So that's actually really easy. So I'm going to click on that and then I'm going to confirm and pay. But this time I'm going to see again if it gives me that code. So we're going to try this. So confirm and pay. Here we go. So when doing it on the computer, I get my reference number, but I also get a QR code at the same time as well. So it's a label additional information. Here we've also emailed you the print and store QR code. So hopefully now when I go to my phone, I should have that code. So here we go. Yeah, hello I am, yeah. You see the third wall now, can't we? Yeah, so the Hermes order confirmation. So I can put it into that and then thank you for the thing and the code is sitting there so I've got a... yeah the code is so, and also as well the code is valid until the 3rd of August 2019 It's a very long time for dispatch yeah you can also um this isn't here print your label at home or view your invoice actually all from the app as well or you can use the app so Again, another system which I didn't realise with Hermes until doing this video, I can find out as well. So, so the only thing left to do now is to go to Hermes with these two with these two methods, and then do the one there. So that's it. Let's do that now. Okay, so we're at the parcel shop now. So we've got the label. So let's give it a go. Tap to begin. Uh, I've got a code or password. Enter the code, and then we're going to scan it. Scan it now. Where's the barcode? Scan it. There we go. Verify code, and that's it. How simple was that? So that's going to go on the parcel now. Right for the second one. Remember, I did it through the computer, through the app. So the app didn't give me a QR code. It just gave me a code. So I'll go again. So tap to begin. Got a code. But this time I'm going to enter code. I'm going to bung the code in. So let's put the code in. Okay. Q. J. F Z. 
Next. There we go. And out comes the next label. Nice and simple again. Okay, so I'm now going to send this big box, 13.2 kilos, over yeah. to um, GPS. But this time we're going to do it uh, by... Till tomorrow morning. Tomorrow about 12 o'clock. We're going to do it by hand this time. 12 o'clock. 12 so send the parcel. Yeah. And then all we're going to do Thank is go through the receipt's time. name. And then the address of where it's going to. And then the postcode. So it's going to eBay, so. Let me do that. Yeah, unit three, it says GDOS, it's not, I just have to change the address. Uh, this one is going to be 10 to 15. So we're going to there, and then we're going to do it standard. Parcel contents, Xbox parts. How much is it worth? 45. You get free cover, 75p extra, but it's going to eBay, so they, they cover everything anyway. And then it's my return address. There we go, email. Yeah, so we've got it on there, standard delivery. I need to edit that because that's wrong. Let's say change this to eBay now so they get all the right details. Okay, so we've got the GSP in there and we've got their reference number. Yeah, happy with that. Yeah, everything else is fine. Now it's got the right details, and then we'll just pay that. Well, yeah, accept yeah, the conditions, and we'll pay that with the card. Yeah, so we'll click that, because it's only eight pound. I can't hear you. No, still not work. No, it doesn't work. Let's put it inside the machine then. So it wins the office. Okay, so that's now being done. Remove card. Payment approved. And out comes the label. There we go, 15 kilos for £8 something. Not a bad little thing really. There we go, let's stick that on there. And then we put my invoice back in the packaging. So that's it. So I'm just doing another one now. This is another GSP. It weighs 3.7 kilos, but this time it comes under the 2 to 10 kilos. So unlike other places, it gets paid 2 to 5 and 5 to 10. It's a standard fee of £6.49. So that's not too bad, really. We'll click that. And then we'll go through the same process again by going to GSP, so I'm just happy with that. And this one is books. How much is it worth? This one's worth 90. Yeah, I'm listening Yeah, because it's covered by eBay, so it's fine. And it goes through again, so we just do all those details and all over again. And hey presto, and the last one's done. And we're finished. Yeah. Yeah.
and he's been doing with me for last three years. Yeah, it's, the, it's an easy thing. So you get the mm. service, you can pass it out, and that really yeah. helps. And they said that if you go to Morrison, and because Morrison does it, mm. but they said you can't talk to people if there's problem they don't want to know. In the small shop, they help you. Yeah, that's good though. Yeah, so it's not too bad. It's not too bad. <laughs> There's the bills. That's the main thing. <laughs> Yeah. Right, I'll see you another day. Probably no couple problem. Of, yeah, another couple of, oh, I didn't see all that. Didn't see all that parcel label. Yeah. Right. Soon it will go, he hasn't been, so it should be here in yeah. the game. Yeah, alright, that's fine. See you later on. See you, take care, love, bye-bye. I just thought I'd just show that, laugh, I'd record that laugh of conversation I had sort of with a lady through, through um, her experience with Hermes is actually she really enjoys it she said people come to her all over the, all over the place because of the service she gives her yeah. and it's, they, they, every shop they get a small cut I think she said about 35p um, per parcel what she, what she sells but so the, quality, the, the amount of sales she, parcels she goes through there about 50, 60, 70 parcels a day comes through her shop in cost cutter in Norwich so um because the service she gives and that's why, that's why she likes doing dealing with Hermes. So that's it for now. I hope you enjoyed this little video. All you're going to do is look out for the old sign there. And that sort of tells you where you can then do, where you can actually do your Hermes sort of parcels. But until then, remember, just go out there, keep hunting, keep finding those treasures, selling on those on the sites, or just doing the personal parcels. Hermes has got everything for you, so it's got all the different variations how you want to do it. But that's it for me now. I'll see you again for later on. Bye for now.